pleasant good morning good afternoon good evening good night somewhere in the world it's night right now big up on yourself welcome back to joy any weather sports so chelsea versus wolves sunday morning wolves coming off a 3-0 hammering by the hammers Chelsea coming off a 2-0 victory over Sheffield United. Press conference. Mauricio Pacentino just spoke about 10 minutes ago the press conference ended. So what can I take from the press conference? <clears throat> I can sum up the press conference for you guys, but you can go watch it on the Chelsea YouTube channel yourself. And then also in the app. But right now, what I'm going to say <clears throat> about this press conference is it was very informative about Pache's perspective on players returning from injury. Um, also, the, the standout points from this press conference was his comments about Noni Madike um, and Kunko Modric Lavia oh boy Romeo Lavia and uh, he did touch on Whisper I think the second question in the conf press conference was about Whisper Whisper Richards for my Chelsea um, fans over the world who don't know his full name Dujan Whisper Richards 18 year old Jamaican training with the first team right now. Um, who else he touch on? Mattison and Gusto not being starters. All right, so where to start? All right, let's start, but let's go into in order. People remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a family member about Dre anywhere the sports. It's on all platforms. You can follow and subscribe on all platforms. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and over on X, formerly known as Twitter. All right. So, second question, like I said, was about Whisper. He says, training with the first team right now. Been a couple of weeks. Um, he's going to continue to train, and you see when the player is ready to play in the first team come January. All right. Now next, he talk about Madwike. All right, this one's a bit touchy for me because uh, I was expecting Madwike Noni. Let's just say Noni, Noni to start a couple matches for the season because of what I saw coming into the <coughs> beginning of the season during preseason and also when he plays for the England under 21s with Cole Palmer all right very skillful individual had some off the field issues may have Rob patch may have Rob patch the wrong way because I, I I'm not patch at Tina I'm not in his head, but some off the field issues, some curfew partying and stuff like that, right? Um, so we know the talent on the field, but he's not a player that can tackle and he's not gonna be back being the last man to help out his right wing back in defense or clearing the ball of the defensive uh, third. Now, as a winger, you're going to be asked to track back when your team under pressure are being pressed. Um, but on the ball and attacking, very skillful, he can score goals. Um, can pass the ball, <coughs> can square the ball also. All right, so Pat says, player had some injury setbacks 
and um, competition at his position, right wing. So, because the player is not versatile, he can't play cam or left wing, right wing. So, it's going to be very competitive at his position where he's competing with Raheem Sterling and Cole Palmer. Now, though those players can rotate and play center forward, left wing, right wing which is sterling then because of the current form that modric's on and kunku is returning the left wing and the center attacking and the center forward is competitive cole palmer is the cam he starts at right wing when all three midfielders are fit and ready <clears throat> which they are right now. We don't see Noni coming into the starting 11 beating out a Cole Palmer anytime soon or Raheem Sterling. I'm going to get to Patch's philosophy on giving players game time because <laughs> he did touch on that too. Very touchy situation there. Now, I can tell you this. He's not going to play Noni if he's not going to contribute. He's not going to play the player just to give him fitness and game time reps. He's not that type of coach. And he said it in the press conference. So you can go listen to that press conference again over on Chelsea YouTube channel. Um, and also in the Chelsea app, which is where I watched it live. Now, that's for Noni. So don't expect we up by two goals. Yeah, Noni hasn't been playing. Let's give him some minutes out there. No, he wants to contribute. The, if he, he's a game manager. If the game's not going in their favor and he can't, he's not going to contribute to the game. Don't see Noni coming on the field. Um, goal difference is a must, two and a plus. Patch is thinking about everything in the standings in order to move up in those standings. Okay, we are at 10th right now. Even a win over the weekend is not going to put us in ninth position because we are 7 points, 7 points, 5 points, 5 or 7 points behind. So we need at least 2 wins and 2 losses for the opponent in order to catch, jump to ninth position. All right. So, so I touch Whisper, touch Noni, sit points. Um... Then he spoke on Romeo Lavia. Oh boy. Chelsea fans are frustrated that they're not seeing Lavia and Nkunku. <clears throat> now, Nkunku has returned, which Patch says, all right, let's go with the Lavia. I'm going to leave the Nkunku for last. So, Nkunku, um, Lavia has returned to first team practice, but... Patch keeps saying six months, six months, six months. It's been four months. Not six months. I don't know why Patch keeps saying six months. I, and I wonder why didn't nobody um, correct him in the press conference. But he was stirring on the, on, the, on the Lavia injury and the return. So I'm not saying if he's saying that he won't come back and he won't make a comeback or a return until six months time but when Pacentino is speaking about this Lavia returning situation he's not thinking about giving the player any um, reps in first team like minutes yeah um, he's not thinking about giving the player any first team minutes talking about Lavia not giving him any first team minutes just to say that um, giving him minutes to get back to, to help him get back to fitness. It's not going to do that. You do that in first team scrimmage and all the, also playing in the under 21s. Under um, PL2 team. It's not going to do that. Don't expect it from Patch. When you come in, 
it's very important that you are ready to contribute and Patch is getting very frustrated. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Very frustrated when you're asking him. When is he gonna play? When is he gonna play? When am I gonna play? Believe me. Patch actually say it. He said that the clubs spend millions on our and are paying these players weekly, even when they're not paying. So believe me, the pressure is on him to play the players. And <clears throat> this is very frustrating for him. He don't want no player coming to him and ask him that he's disappointed that he never played today. Nobody with it. You may end up in the doghouse. So don't go to patch Chelsea players. All right. Don't go to patch. Tell him that you're disappointed. Believe me, he's disappointed not playing you. Because you're getting paid a salary. Not to sit on the bench. But to play and contribute. So if the game or the situation doesn't call for your inclusion. And you come to Patch and tell him. Say, oh, coach, I thought I was going to play today. But I'm disappointed. The man now uh, hear that. Take it to somebody else. Take it to the assistant, to the assistant, I go tell the grounds man. The man don't want to hear that. Alright, and he shows his frustration and his disappointment when the fans and uh, the players talking about that. And yes, Patch do watch and listen to these blogs and these fans and listen the radios too. He does. <laughs> don't think him down he does see my say my read and I watch um, something yesterday morning about the the um, European Super League and hear people talking about um, the European Super League and Chelsea and um, UEFA and FIFA and Barcelona and uh, uh, Real Madrid and all that. He, he watch. He listen. He, 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 he <coughs> <coughs> so he won't watch with his official account. Or, yeah, but he watches. He says it. Um, anyway, next player. And Kunko. Chelsea fans, Pochentino is being very delicate with this Nkunko playing and getting start. Don't expect him to start this weekend. If he starts this weekend, it's a miracle. Something drastic happened between today and Sunday. Well, there's no practice after today. Um, they got to go to Molyneux, Molyneux, whatever you want to call it. Wolves, they playing on Sunday. But um, they're leaving out tomorrow morning. Um, don't expect to see um, Nkunko starting. So expect the same starting front line of Modric, Jackson, Sterling, Palmer, or yeah, or Palmer, Sterling, Jackson. Yeah, don't expect Nkunku to start. But Modric's on good form right now. 
So one of the midfielders may have to sacrifice. Palmer played a 10. Oh, I would set it up. Palmer would play a 10. Um, then Enzo and Gallagher in the middle. However, Patch, Patch loves his midfield trio. He's going to stick to his midfield trio. It's going to be Gallagher, Enzo, and Caicedo. He's going to stick to his um, trio in the midfield. However, back to Nkunku. He's saying that um, he don't want to rush the player back. <clears throat> um, he's going to gradually get him in the system and uh, give him time because he's a very important player to the team and his plans. Very important player to the team and his plans. So that is that on Nkunko. Um, who else? He did agree that playing the left backs did change the game. The left back and the right back um, did change the game. Instead of playing four center backs. <laughs> but what I'm thinking, <clears throat> and he did kind of brush the question aside. I got Malagosta in my fantasy team, so I want Malagosta to start over De Sassi. De Sassi offers nothing going forward, but he does offer that defensive stability on the right, which allows Cole Palmer to stay further up the field or, or Sterling to stay further up the field, whoever playing on that right wing. Uh, because as you know, Sterling and Cole Palmer can change to the left or right. Cole Palmer can go in centre midfield. Sterling on the right, left, you know. Very versatile players. Um, so, the Sassi does give that defensive cover. However, Malagusto is a very good tackler. He won two of three challenges coming on the park last game. And that's more than the Sassi won one-on-one -on -one duels. So... Go figure. I'm very high on Malagusto. All right, so people. And Mattison, Mattison is not signing the long-term contract, so Mattison could be on the um, transfer transfer listed come January. It's it's very likely. Ben Chilwell, Cocorella, Levi Caldwell can play on the left um, left wing back. Our left wing backs. Left backs, left back in a four, left wing back in a three. So, you know, it's it's a tricky situation. Mattison can also play um, right wing back um, and left wing. So Mattison gives me more versat versatility. Um, if you ask me, I'm starting Mattison over Cucurella, even when Cucurella comes back. Um, so with that said that pretty much sums up the press conference remember to like share subscribe tell a friend tell a friend tell a family member about dre anywhere the sports follow on all platform big up all the other youtubers out there giving chelsea content jamaica football content big up on yourself much love much respect and i say every day above grown is a blessing so give thanks for life until next time, this is your boy Dre, and I say I'm 